Now, I'm a big fan of apples. For one, they taste really good. And two, they are so easy to take with you. But besides from just eating them, I like to dry them. And eat them in that way. Drying apples is super easy. You don't even need heat, because they dry just as good in normal room temperature. So using an oven is just a waste of energy. You just need a little bit extra time. Of course, there are a lot of ways to dry apples in room temperature. Most common is to DC them, cut them into rings, and then hang them. For this, you could either tie a string, or if you have a little extra time, build an apple dryer. This is my personal apple dryer that I built about a year ago, and it has served me really well. But over time it's gone a rocky mountain on me, and the ribs that the apple rings hang on has become um, quite disgusting. So it's about time that I build a new one. The new dryer will have the same basic shape and function as the old one, but just a little bit shorter and in another color. The wood that I will be using is just some cheaper wood that's cut into a plank. This will be sewn into right sized bits, then I rasp the edges a bit ugly and sand them smooth again. For the ribs that the apple rings will rest on, I'll use normal medium sized flower sticks and then just cutting them into right length. Before I assemble the dryer, I will give the pieces and ribs a nice brown stain color. And to top it off, some layers of polyurethane lacquer that has a nice antique finish to it. So let me just finish this, and I'll get right into it.
And that is how I build an apple dryer. Personally, I like to dry the red ones. I just think they taste the best when they're dried. But of course you can dry whatever apple you feel like. When the rings are dry, I often cut them into smaller pieces and then just put them in my oatmeal or eat them as they are. Perfect now that winter has arrived. Subscribe if you feel like it, because there's always more videos to come. I'm Tom McTeshiron, and thanks for watching.